to do, says Bulgaria. Uh, for the mercy of God, help. Guten Tag. Uh, oh, they tripped on this rock. Guten Tag. G Guten Tag. Why is you of running away? <laughs> you is of coming with me. Oh, look. Well, at least they have friends. Is everyone ready to conquer Europa? Why me? Jock. And the rest is history. So this is referencing World War One and how Bulgaria joined the Central Powers. Remember that usually the rectangle comes just from WW1. Usually. Bulgaria had been secretly wooed by both Germany and the Allies, hoping for an ally in the Balkans. They really wanted Macedonia though from Serbia. Some of their stats at that time, they had 4.8 million people. Their economy was 7.4 billion. Also contributed 280,000 soldiers. They did initially remain neutral though. Absolutely beautiful comic. Hey Switzerland, I have a question. Oh bonjour Italia. Yeah, tell me. Why do you spend so much on defense? Oh, well. Flashback to the unification of Germany. Flashback to World War One. Flashback to World War Two. I just want good protection for my city. Citizens. Okay, responds Italy. This brings a whole new aspect to Switzerland's neutrality, not only during the world wars, but yeah, this pretty big war between Germany, or who would become Germany, and France. And honestly, it goes even further back than this. Europe, throughout its history, has always been just completely chaos. But Switzerland has always had their Swiss Alps. They're just hidden away like some dwarves back there. Turns out you actually need a military to stay neutral. It's interesting how that works. The USA and Russia with a little game of chess. Check. Check? This American responds. Checkmate. Oh, that's just the nation of Czechia. Well, I will admit, at least this was a pun using check, not referring to the cash thing, you know, checks. This is the word you say when you check the king, checkmate chess. This is membership of NATO. It makes the deterrence of Russian aggression. Oh, wow, we have Poland's card right here. Issued the 12th of March, 1999. Yup, responds NATO. Ooh, what's that secret back code? Countries join NATO for they are in the knowings that they are weaker than Russia. Yup, I am not the sure that I can beatings Russia in this war and would benefit from NATO membershipings. That makes sense to me. Then let me be the joinings to NATO. You have to beat Russia before you can join NATO. Ah yes, this logic is perfect. This is obviously referencing the Spongebob meme with Patrick and the wallet. This makes me think there really is like a NATO membership ID card though. What's funny is NATO did kind of say this, like if you do beat Russia, then we'll figure out how to get you into NATO. We just can't do it right now, obviously, because then we'd start war with Russia. It is rather absurd when you think about it like that though. Leave my land, you. You leave my land, Zionist. Meanwhile, America watching in the background. This is horrible. When will it end? I think I got an idea, bro. Last one to leave this circle wins the Holy Land. I is gonna beat you. I will uh, win. That's perfect. Turn it into like a Mr. Beast challenge video or just any sort of challenge YouTube video. Wait a second. Isn't this what we've already been doing though? We basically put Israel there back in 1949 and this has been the circle. Here we are 70 years later and still no one has left it yet. This brings a whole new perspective to the whole thing. At this point I think they're actively trying to push each other out but uh yeah. Hola my children, how are you? How's everything going? As Spain's talking to their former Spanish colonies. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Oh, Spain, so much. So this looks like it's mainly referencing the fact that in Chile, they apparently speak extremely strange Spanish. It is known throughout the Spanish-speaking world that the Chileans speak uh, rather interestingly. Just be nice about it. I've actually heard recently a comparison between Spanish in Chile and English from the deep south. Call me the <laughs> I think this also could be talking about just the fact that in the country ball universe, Chile is a worm. But you know what? Spain is responsible for that, really. If you didn't make the borders like this, they would have never been perceived as a worm. So you kind of did a lot wrong, Spain. Loved this 10 out of 10. Why does people's wanting's money from Deutschland? Give, 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 give. Why does people wanting's my sp something men palacers? Mine, 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 mine. Why does people's of ignoring sea land? I is very relevant. Why does people's of not attacking Switzerland? Remove evil Germans. Remove evil Russians. Sometimes complaining can be kind of a 
good thing, I guess. You can complain about having a good thing. Or I guess maybe that's not even complaining. Germany gives people money in the EU. China just wants things, I think, from everyone. Sealand is an unrecognized country that's basically on an oil rig somewhere. And yeah, Switzerland is very lucky because they just don't get attacked. But I've heard it's because people just don't think it's worth the cost. I despise my southern neighbor. Woo! What's up, Canada? How's that freedom going? Bang, bang, as we shoot off our guns. Hola, gringo, as the U.S. looks at Mexico. Those voices tell me to kill. <sighs> Well, all right then. And uh, Mexico is also not very amused. There is this really strange thing that happens in the North American continent, I do agree. It goes in a perfectly straight line down what we got going on. Canada despises the US sometimes, US doesn't like Mexico, and Mexico doesn't like a whole lot of things going on in Central America. Now, this doesn't necessarily stack. Uh, Mexico and Canada are cool. I think we started it first, bugging Canada though. Switzerland, I need help, asks Germany. I try and try to sort out but the European Union is still a mess. It's simple. You must take organization up one level. Solution is voila. You must list into list. Must file into file and must box into box. Box into box? You're a genius, responds Germany. Everyone, attention at me. New Europe directive first. All countries receive a box and must be box only the box within the box. For sake of ordering or or dung. Well, has it success? Meanwhile, um, what do you think, Switzerland? Literally, just open your eyes. Britain did a poop in my box, says Ireland. My box should be bigger and more important than other boxes, says the United Kingdom. Where is furniture? Asks Sweden. I fill box with Lego. Oh, Finland already drank all their vodka in their box. I steal box of Germany, says Poland. We make sell boxes to beers, says Czechia and Slovakia. Hungry, if working together, we can can take box of others, says Austria. Oh no, don't start that Austro-Hungarian box empire again. Get box back, Romania, as they have stolen Hungary's box. <laughs> I take Bulgaria out here in paling things again. Well, dolphin put dolphin in box. I want box, says Turkey. No, you're not in the EU. Oh, of course, Cyprus's box looks like this. Ancient Greece invent box. Give money for ancient box monument. Uh, Croatia. Serbia put dead Bosnia in my box again. <laughs> Box will protect from Arabs. Oh, that's Malta. I got tomato sauce all in my box. Uh, Italy, are you are you sure? Are you, it wasn't your mafia? Your box is most smelly, Yugoslav, Croatia. Oh, well, that's because the dead guy's in it. Of course, Spain is taking their siesta or nap in the box. Brazil, want by box. Portugal doing the only way they can get money, and that's selling things to Brazil. Okay, France. Luxembourg has a place to put all their money. Belgian box is most relevant central box for all Europe. That's because Brussels is the headquarters of the EU and NATO. My box has wet. Meanwhile, the Estonian, Latvian, and Lithuanian boxes are about to get, uh, stolen. I guess like a lot of the other boxes. Man, after reading everyone with their boxes, I want a box. Do so many activities with cardboard boxes. Weird, like it does seem like boxes would help with organization, but yeah, that clearly was not the case. Good attempt though, Germany, nice try. Maybe just try file folders only next time. Ouch, says the Philippines. Oh, here's Brunei. Specifically, ouch, my mata. Something happened to his eye. Hey, you also call I mata? Yes, the Philippines respond. Oh, me too, bro, says Indonesia out of nowhere. Me too, 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 me Crap, literally all of the countries in this part of the world refer to I as Mata. Even Indonesia, which has several different languages in it, uh, they all are using the same word. As far down south as even New Zealand. But you know what's also interesting, Indonesia says to the Philippines? We also call the sun... Mata Hari, the great eye of the day. Oh, that would make, yeah, it's kind of like a giant eye. <gasps> It's Singapore. The Singapore Triangle strikes again. I find this fascinating, the fact that so many people use the same word for this body part, but I'm assuming a lot of this can be linked back to the Polynesians and their exploration of this part of the world. I mean, you can literally see them starting off making their way from the Philippines and Indonesia all the way down south to New Zealand. This has got to be the connecting link, right? It's usually the explanation for things like this throughout the world. Meanwhile, during the Eastern Europe school field trip, in the front of the bus, we have the quiet ones. In the middle of the 
the bus, we have the normal ones. And in the back of the bus, the, of course, naughty and noisy ones. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's literally just all the Balkans. Well, it was the Eastern European field trip. I guess I should have known that. Montenegro sleeping. Croatia on their iPhone. Slovakia and Czechia, of course, are sitting next to each other because they're kind of best buddies. They used to be inside of each other. <laughs> There's Albania and Bosnia. I mean, to call Albania and Bosnia the normal ones, I, I don't know. North Macedonia and Moldova. Then, of course, Romania and Bulgaria. Finally, the ones in the back. Oh, here's Poland and Greece. Not just the Balkans, I guess. Also, Hungary and Serbia. This really do be kind of how it is, though. You really gotta watch these guys in the back. Always up to some trouble. Or wait a second. Is this a foreign exchange student from Indonesia? Apparently, Turkey is driving the bus. War is hard. I just wish I could into, into switching, switching places, places with somebody. Somebody waitings. War is, is hard. hard. This is a flag reference that's also comparing Poland and Indonesia's similar history, at least specifically in WW2. While Poland was literally being unalived by Nono Germany and the Soviets, Indonesia was having some really horrible things happening because of Imperial Japan. So when these two switch places, uh, it turns out, yeah, the grass is not greener, or I guess in this case, redder. Keep in mind, this is not actually Poland's flag, but in the country ball universe it is. I make the mistake all the time. They actually have different aspect ratios as well. I never realized as far as World War II goes, they both do have very similar tragic histories. I want to be police, says Russia. No Russia police in Kazakhstan, sorry. <coughs> Later. <coughs> oh man, he's going in. <coughs> Some medicine later. Hire me, please. Hmm, let me check. Here. Eat horse. Frick, no. Unfortunately, no matter how much Russia wants to be Kazakhstani, they just can't. They're not willing to go that far. Horse and mutton are actually the most popular forms of meat and are most often served in large uncut pieces in Kazakhstan. Also, apparently it is a little bit difficult for Russians to get jobs in Kazakhstan. Poor Russia. Russia cannot into Kazakh. Super USA. Help. <laughs> Super USA to the rescue. Is this some sort of evil British man watching? Boom, as they land in a dark alley. No Poland ball. Oh no, it's Super USA, says. Well, that's clearly a Russia. In the next shot, they just got beat up or they're just crying because they failed. Here's your bag, Super USA says. Of thanking you, Super USA. For you have fallen into my trap, says China in the shadows. That I think that's China, because they are in the shadows. Bang! Oh wow, the end. <laughs> Beautiful. Now this is epic. I wonder if this is a bigger metaphor for how the USA tries their best to be a superhero, kind of just throughout the world, but ultimately, uh, that oftentimes kind of just backfires on us. We end up starting more trouble than there was before. Also, is this a superpower? Because apparently the USA is only superpower for now. Just wait for India, superpower 2030. I just bought a pizza, I hope you like it. Pero, what is the flavor, says Chile. Smells delightful. Mercy. Oh, wait, I think Francis was to say that. Thanks, mate. Rico. It's a new pizza called the Arctic Recipe. There have been slices for everyone, so let's share it nicely. Oh, that's Antarctica. I see what's happening here. It is kind of like a pizza. Not much later. Get your own slice. Stealing the Falcons was enough. What the freak? It's melting off. Name them properly, wanker. I of guillotine my slice. Did you really need to do that, says Australia? Oh, but New Zealand seems to be happy. Even Italy himself is unhappy with this pizza. What's going on? Here they all are are in the pizza box. Of course, Chile is very powerful in the country ball universe. Man, this is a mess. Pizza Tortisiza's world recipe. Oh, that was the Antarctica pizza. This is a whole different one. Um, should we just cut it in half with a line? Derp, that works, responds Portugal to Spain. Yeah, dividing this pizza was a whole lot easier. They literally did just draw two straight lines down and call it a day. Meanwhile, the chaos of the Antarctica pizza, well, it's just, uh, it's just a little too much. Like, I don't even know what's going on anymore. And all this fighting is for a pizza that isn't even that good. I can't even survive in Antarctica without some massive crazy base. I wonder why Norway got this island. This isn't even confirmed either. Like, this, there's no, like, official who controls what. It's kind of all argued territory. And there's also claims that aren't even included in this. So some of it's, like, still you know, a little messy. This is actually probably the perfect way to describe the situation in Antarctica. It's just a giant pizza that no one can figure out exactly how to slice it. But again, I want to reaffirm, like, it ain't even that good. It's probably pretty horrible pizza. The population of the entire continent ranges from 4,000 in the summer to 1,000 in the winter. That pizza will kill you. Pizza party, more like pizza brawl. Brawl doesn't start with a P, but whatever. And 
thanks to the patrons. Drew, I'm your dad, back with the milk. Look outside. John Denver. Luxembourg lover. I can't sleep without Drew's voice. Aaron F. Amateur archaeology. Fat. Carmel Norwal. Frederick Tiblin. Good old Ryan. Inquisitor. Jack Trey's annoying friend. Let me know is X10. Best Robert Ryan. E. The Pie. The Sebby, if you hear this, I love you. And why am I doing this?